Have you ever had one of those instant regret moments? I mean, I feel like we've all had them, but how recent was yours? Because mine is a couple of minutes ago. Um, I did a boo-boo and I will never forgive myself because I got this random package. Yeah, like I just got this. Literally doesn't say anything at absolutely, you know, like, what is this? So I was just like, okay, I'm, get I'm gonna open this off camera because I don't, I don't know what it is. And as soon as I open it, like, I wish I could recreate it, but I'm not known for my acting skills, to put it lightly. <laughs> so I just take it out, you know, not recording or anything. And this comes out. Come on now. I have an arc. I have an arc of TJ Klune's new book that's coming out in October, I believe. I think that's what I heard. Doesn't matter when it comes out because I have it. <laughs> um, yes, absolutely. Yes, can't believe y'all missed that because it was insane. It was beautiful. It was heartwarming. I started trembling like a chihuahua because I was just so excited. I laughed. I cried a number of times. I sweat. I danced. I got a shot. I ate and I had many epiphanies. I honestly can't believe that this little weeb, this simp, is getting an arc of one of her most anticipated releases of 2021. And she didn't record it because she's absolutely idiotic. Electric chair. Disgusting. But this isn't. This, this isn't. What did I do to deserve this? I can't believe that I have this in my hands. And yes. Yes, this is TJ Klune's new book. If you've been here for a tiny bit, you might know. Oh, you can't really see it. It's over there. But I read The House in the Cerulean Sea a few months ago, and it became a favorite because it reminded me of why I loved reading. I fell in love with every single character, and every single page had me either crying or laughing or smiling or just living in that beautiful book. Ever since that book, I fell in love with TJ Klune and his writing and just how his mind works. Death is only their beginning. An enchanting love story between a man who lives to help the dead and a man who died, then learned to live. The first sentence, uh, can, should I say this? Patricia was crying. Patricia! Apart from that very mysterious package, I also got two more things. Oh, I shouldn't show that. <laughs> this is from a friend that I made on my Discord server. Sorry if I know you with how much I talk about my Discord, but it's a friend that I made. Her name's Emma. And I don't know if I want to open this on camera because I want to open it for myself. You know what I mean? So I might leave this for last. We do have this box. Um, I don't know what it is. Ever since the last Come Shopping With Me that I did with you guys, I haven't bought any books. So I really don't know what this is. No, <laughs> no, like I didn't know. No, 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 just no. You know what I mean? Like, no, somebody did not. <laughs> oh my God, you can see. I am so afraid, like, I don't want to open this box. I don't want to cry. My heart is beating so fast right now. I'm such a weeb. I hate, I love this. Um, oh my God. Okay, I'm just, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, okay. So in my Come Book Shopping With Me video, one book that I found was She Who Became the Sun, and that was actually one of the books that I wanted to buy the most, but since nobody had recommended it, and it was like, you control my book haul type of video, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna save for later. And then after that video, I got so many comments and so many people saying, She Who Became the Sun sounds so good, I ordered it, I'm so excited to read it. And I'm like, how dare you do this to me? That is the one book that I saved for later, and here you are saying that you bought it when I specifically told you that I couldn't get it because you didn't tell me to. 
but oh my god <laughs> i can't i i literally i need to know who sent this because i need to promise you my firstborn yes oh my god you sent me two but okay so yes all right i don't i don't um i don't understand i don't understand oh my god there's a map of course there's a map of course this book has a map exactly that's what i'm talking about that's a, this smells like a five star i must have been so good in my past life because a girl is reaping yes yes i know you ended up not getting this book because it wasn't recommended by your followers but you really wanted it so i wanted to gift it to you and hopefully it's that five stars you want it to be that is absolutely stunning I look so good next to this book. Is this book going to become my brand? I feel like it is. Like, we... Yeah. Yeah. I am currently in the middle of, like, four books. The way that I want to drop every single one of them and just read these three books all at the same time. Like, how can I read three books at the same time, but at the same time, I don't want to? Like, I want to give each of these books the time that they deserve and the attention that they deserve and require and I look so stunning next to these books like it's not even a joke how good I look this is absolute like who can top this absolutely no one so today was kind of crap you know what I mean like today I woke up and I was like I better not you know what I mean it's it was one of those days and then suddenly it's like, I've never been happier to be alive. Thank you so much for wanting to send me these books and for, I don't know, just like thinking of me and keeping me in your thoughts and prayers. I'm gonna go cry now off camera. <laughs> but I'm very happy. I'm so stupidly happy, but I'm gonna stop now. Um, yes, yes, okay.
I hope you're doing wonderful whenever you're seeing this. And if you're not, then let's give each other serotonin. Let's spend a little time with each other. And let's talk about books because I actually have so many reading updates. It's actually insane. Like I can't remember the last time that I felt this excited to talk about books. And it's like, yes, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I I don't know. It's like I'm finally getting back into the groove of loving reading and these reading vlogs and reading updates. Everything is coming together. It's been a rough month, like reading wise, but I think, I mean, after I read People We Meet on Vacation, which if you haven't seen that vlog, it's one of my favorites. So I would really be honored if you could give it a watch if you want to. <laughs> but yes, reading updates, let's do them because I have a lot of them. The first one being this bad boy. Fairy Man, written by Claire McFall. This is coming out in October, and I was very gracefully sent an arc so that I could read it and talk to you guys about it. It took me back to when I first started reading, and I used to pick up a lot of paranormal YA books, and it just gave me those vibes. It's kind of like hush-hush, but not as problematic, and a lot more interesting because it's based on Greek mythology. Our main character, she dies. It's not a spoiler, she literally dies in like the first 10 pages. Rip. But when she meets this fairy man, this, this, yes, they meet and they start talking and as he's guiding her through the underworld, they start to connect in a deeper level and it's like, Yes, I do feel like the story could have gone a bit deeper into the psyche of the characters and maybe like develop them a little bit more. It's not exactly insta-love, but there's not a lot going on before they're like, I would die for you, which they do. <laughs> it just made me nostalgic for a time that is no longer here, which is what nostalgia is. Oh my God. Big brain. And then, okay, I want to talk about <laughs> this reading update is probably the one that I am most proud of because, okay, I did not finish Warm <laughs> Imagine last vlog, I'm just like, yeah, guys, I'm on page 50. And then on the next one, I'm like, I finished Warm Peace. There we go. Oh my God, though. Are you hearing that? That sounds... Exactly. <laughs> the accomplishment that I want to talk to you guys about, and actually this bookmark is incorrect. The accomplishment that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that I reached part three of volume one. So I didn't know this, but when I when I when I read like part two and part three, I was like, hold up. So actually this book, War and Peace, is divided into smaller books inside it's not like the most amazing accomplishment but i'm pretty proud of myself and i wanted to share that with you guys because i for a second there i'm gonna be honest for a second there i thought war and peace was going to win and i was going to have to dnf it and just be like my brain is not developed enough to read this it's not that it's hard grammatically and the story itself it's not hard to follow but at one point i was just like why am why i doing, am I doing this, this? <laughs> I, I had like an existential crisis reading War and Peace, but I was just like, you know what, girly, let's keep going. You don't know what you're going to find along the way. Don't give up so early. Let's just keep going. And right when I was thinking that, I reached the end of part two and started part three. So it was like a sign, like, yes, girl, you get it. Let me give you this little bonus point so that you keep going. This is where volume one ends. So I'm missing... I mean, that doesn't look like a lot, but it's actually, it's actually a hundred pages. I'm missing a hundred pages to finish book one, but I don't know. I was just like, I was, I was filled with this sense of accomplishment and I was very proud of myself. So tell me that you're proud of me because... Yes, that's that's the fuel that I need to continue reading War and Peace. I don't know if what I'm enjoying is analyzing the text or the text itself because I am having so much fun analyzing these characters and okay, look at this one page. 
I'm absolutely like this page. Yes. Yes. I'm just having so much fun, like analyzing the text and seeing these habits of these characters and how Tolstoy sort of intertwines major themes like war, but then also connects it with humanity and like habits that we have that aren't lost on us even when major events are going on. It's like wild. I don't, I feel like I'm living my dark academia fantasy. I feel like I'm in a university class and it kind of sucks because when I was in high school, I didn't have like those discussions of literature that everybody had. I just feel like I missed out on those literary classes where you're just discussing literary elements and the themes and motifs and the symbolisms in the books with your teacher and your classmates and I feel like I wish I could go to a place where we can just discuss books heavily and just talk. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but through this War and Peace read and through the way that I am annotating it, I just feel like I'm fully immersed in the text and I feel like I'm, I don't know. It just feels like I'm living my best nerdy life. And I'm taking you guys along with me, so that's fantastic. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you a few of the annotated pages that I am especially proud of because some are looking scrumptious and I want to show them off. <laughs> the last reading update, I swear, if you guys are still here, I love y'all so much. I mean, the vlog is not going to be over anytime soon, but... I have been speaking for a long time and I don't like, sometimes when I speak, I'm like, does anybody even want to listen to this? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just let me know if you don't mind chatty vlogs because apparently Sis has a lot to say. <laughs> okay, but the final reading update is, how do you feel about Webtoons? because I'm not like a major webtoon reader. I have only read two webtoons, the first one being Save Me, which is the BTS webtoon, and the second and last one being Lore Olympus, which I mean, come on. Yes, I ordered the Olympic grade version because stunning, absolutely mind-blowing, best thing that's happened in 2021 so far. Lore Olympus is this beautiful, webtoon that's based on the story of Persephone and Hades. I fell in love with everything about it, the illustrations, the story, the characters, the music from time to time. It's just, it's poetic cinema. If you haven't read Laurel Olympus, if you haven't really read any webtoons, I would definitely recommend for you to start with Laurel Olympus or Save Me. If you're, if you're into K-pop, if you like BTS, then Save Me is a really good place to start as well. The reading update. <laughs> Yes, I've been talking about webtoons, but I haven't been talking about the reading update, is that I binged a webtoon. <laughs> I read three seasons, wait, I read two and a half seasons in two days, I want to say. Uh, yeah, it was two days, and it's Let's Play, which is one of the most famous webtoons. I think Let's Play is the story about this girl of course, and she loves computer games. She loves making them, she loves playing them, and the cast of characters is so eclectic and so fun to read about. But the best part are the love interests. Um, yes, we have Charles, my main man. That is who I ship her with. Samara is the main character and she has three men in her life. And it's like, we have, yes, <laughs> like we have Link, he's a barista and his physique, yes, he could get it any day of the week, but he's kind of like, for me, he's kind of been friend zoned. If you've read Let's Play, then I feel, let's talk about it more because I need people to talk about Let's Play with because I absolutely adore that story. I love the dynamics between the characters and I love the character development of Samara, our main character, is absolutely brilliant. It's insane and I relate so much to her. It's so crazy how close I feel to her. I would sell my siblings to be in her position where I have a man like Charles giving me attention 
also martial law, also Link, and just like overall her friends and the support system that she has, absolutely brilliant. Who's doing it like her? Absolutely no one. So if you're looking for a webtoon to watch, ten, I mean to read, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10, I would recommend because that was fantastic and I need more people to talk about webtoons with. If you have any recommendations for like romance, because that's kind of what I'm into for webtoons, but I could also try like Slice of Life. Come on, come go down into the comments, leave your recommendations because I need more webtoons in my life. When I'm procrastinating reading all of the books that I'm currently reading, I'm going to go into my webtoon app and just binge read a bunch of webtoons. So please leave your recommendations down below. I think it's safe to say that you're all up to date with my reading updates. Hopefully I make progress in one or two of these books. <laughs> and yes, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope I didn't bore you too much. And I think we should update my Goodreads because I actually haven't done that in a hot second. Okay, so I've actually updated my annotation key and I added the purple to symbolize the analysis of symbols, themes, and the story elements and underlying message. So every time that I have like something significant to say or like an analysis of what's just gone on, I like to leave a little post-it and then just you know, mark it to know that there's like something important going on. Also this. Yeah, sometimes I make like really insightful comments, but then other times I'm just like, Rostov said, um, child, anyway, so. <laughs> and I just think that's beautiful. This is one of my favorite pages just because it looks stunning. Like, come on now. Yes. So basically here, our, one of our characters, he's like in the middle of a battle and out of nowhere, he just looks up and he's like, oh my God, the sky is so pretty. <laughs> and I found that to be so shocking that I just, I had to write a bunch of analytical stuff and just try to understand what was going on and like the importance of what was going on, especially analyzing the character and how he's been in the last few chapters where he was like, yes, war, I'm going to be amazing. And then when he was confronted with the actual war, he just didn't know what to do with, with himself. And he was an absolute coward. And yeah, just like general comments of how everybody's just focused on looking good and being promoted and being recognized. Meanwhile, they're walking on top of like dead bodies. And I just thought that was really interesting. A very interesting thing to explore. This is another character analysis because Prince Andre is showing a lot of things that he wasn't showing in the first few chapters. And it's like, where was all of this? And why are you finding peace during war? Like usually war brings out the worst in us, but Andre is thriving. And that's not very cash money of him. <laughs> 
so yeah i'm just honestly having so much fun annotating and truly like delving into this text this page looks so interesting as well Keep going.